Okay folks, good morning and welcome to your Saturday morning tip. Today we're going to be talking about awkward lies. Now talk about spoiling your round when you walk up to the sixth hole and your ball has landed right here on the side of the bunker. So I've got a couple of choices here. I can try and hit it from here and get really set up like that, but the, if I do it like this from a normal stance, I'm probably going to chunk it into the face of the bunker and miss the ball totally. So my other options are, remember this is a rules tip as well, you've got options. You can always take two club lengths, playing unplayable. You can always go back to the tee and play stroke and distance. And you can always keep the, that point between you and the pin and, and drop it as far away on that line as possible. Or you can try and be a magician and do this. This is fun and I know you'll practice it. So I'm going to pop out the bunker. I figured out that I don't have any, I don't want to take my options. And I'm going to try and be creative here. So I'm going to stand on my back to the hole. I'm going to turn the club up like this. I'm going to take a look, couple of practice swings. Okay. Look where it's going. Right here. Here we go. Ready? How about that? Not too shabby. So that's taken away from my uh, chance of creating a big number here. And I've got a putt for par. Think about the options when you're faced with awkward lies and be creative. Have fun. All right, so when you're faced with an awkward lie, be creative. And remember what my mummy's saying in that video is all with a one-shot penalty. And sometimes that one-shot penalty can save you from really racking up a big number. So remember your options. You can always take an unplayable within two club lengths. You can always go back and play it from the tee with stroke and distance. And you can always try and keep that point where the ball was between you and the pin on an extended line and play from that as far back as you want. Or you can do what my mummy did and stand with your back to the target, turn the sand wedge upside down and really snap it with your wrist. It's a lot of fun to practice and it's not that hard. Have fun with it.